this is a video about how to build your own uh, light light stands. Um, maybe you've seen the last movie. It's about these um, light stands made out of uh, tent poles. So this time I'm going to show you how to put these together yourself. First, a little uh, about what these are all about. They're supposed to replace normal light stands under certain conditions. This is a Manfrotto stack stand, which weighs 1.3 kilos, I think, something like that. But um, during uh, special conditions, like inside, um, and uh, no wind, and uh, not so many people trying to tear your light stands down, you could use this instead, which weighs 0.4 kilos. It's 40 centimeters high and it um, packs down to a very small size as you can see. Also you can put them up and down real fast. But it's about the construction this time. <clears throat> so, let's see if I can find my construction material here. Okay, here we have tent poles. That's what it's made of. Uh, these are 14 centimeters high, as I said before, and if you want to build a light stand that is 2 meters high, which mine are, uh, you need uh, 6 of these for each leg. That will uh, give you one leg with a height of a little more than 2 meters. So, what keeps these legs together? Well, it's a uh, elastic cord like that. It's called bungee cord, I believe, and uh, it's inside each leg. And also, at the bottom of uh, each tripod, you have uh, some uh, mm, cord material like this. And uh, I've also built a little special version of these tripods. Looks like that. That does not use this uh, cord at the bottom of it but instead it has some rigid uh, spreaders to keep the tripod a little more uh, rigid so I will show you how to put this up now it goes like this some kind of noise that's it okay see it now. Um, as you can see, take this a little closer, uh, <laughs> here are the rigid uh, spreaders instead of the cord that I've used at the, the bottom of the tripod. So, yeah. I'm going to show you how to put the normal version up also, which look like this. Alright, here we go. Unfortunately, the roof height is a little too low here to <laughs> make it possible to keep this in focus, but you get the idea. Anyway, um, the details about these tripods, how they're made, is really simple. Mm, the top you have here is what keeps them together. Uh, you can see uh, the elastic bungee cord is connected to a ring up here. That's what keeps it together. And uh, I use a double knot here to uh, both keep the ring at its place uh, and not being able to slide down the legs. And this ring is connected to a string that connects to the softbox here. And it also has an adjustment that you can uh, use to lower and heighten the softbox there. And in the bottom of these tripods, there's uh, cords that keeps the uh, leg uh, separated in uh, a distance that's uh, about right. Um, and the other version of the tripods use a rigid spreader, as you've seen. In this spreader, you could put uh, in the middle of the tripod, or you could put it uh, at the lowermost. That's up to you. Well, 
I'm going to show you more in detail how to uh, use this uh, key ring and the string lock also. Oh yeah, there's one more thing. You might be interested in the stop box that I use. And it's a Lustolite umbrella box. Looks like this. And uh, it fits these uh, tripods really well because it's quick to put up and tear down, just as the tripods. You see, it only takes a couple of seconds to do it. This is also a super soft, soft box since the flash bounces uh, against white before it reaches the white diffusion screen. And uh, if you've uh, looked a little closer on these light stands, you've also uh, noticed that they can't really adjust uh, the angle of the softbox. It's always uh, pointing pretty much straight forward. And uh, some of you uh, noticed this is uh, maybe a weakness of them, I'm sure it is. But uh, since these softbox are so diffusive in their light characteristics, uh, I don't find it uh, very useful to actually tilt the softbox. Almost every time I use them pointing mostly forward, so uh, it's not such a big issue for me. And, as I said, these uh, tripods are not made really to uh, withstand wind, so it's better to keep them inside. And uh, I think also if there's a lot of people running around, maybe uh, tearing your tripods down or knocking into them, you might want to consider using a normal tripod like uh, this one instead. So, lastly, I would uh, encourage you to look at some pictures I've made on my uh, homepage. It's www.svarteld.com. That's Swedish. That's why it sounds so weird. <laughs>